Hello everybody, this is the Don Bot bringing you another StarCraft 2 cast. This is Brobot, and, and right next to me, Don Wancho. And this is going to be a ZVP on the Antigua Shipyards. We got this uh, game from Ninja Duck Bob. He posted it to Reddit slash r slash cast it. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. This is a silver level match. And um, we don't know who's going to win, though. He posted it, but a lot of people post games that they lose. Sometimes oh, yeah. they just want some feedback. So don't let that be a spoiler for you. Definitely. I just want to give credit where credit's due, if you know what I mean. Yep. Yep. Uh, so we have a 10 pool going on. Well, maybe I shouldn't say a 10 pool. He's got 10 drones right now. Maybe. Uh, yeah, what's going on probably here? Gonna is be this a some ten strategy pool? I yep, don't know about? That is 10 pool. Okay. You just never know. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes people just forget. Uh, ten pull with gas. Okay, so maybe uh, some sort of like baneling all in. Could have been a proxied hatchery with uh, spine crawlers. Yep. yep. Never Nobody has know a gas going here. Oh, it's psych out. Ooh, psych like out. <laughs> going for a four. Double psych not. out. Mind games. Yep, yep. We got and mind games by Ninja Dick. Ninja Death <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Almost and said something and else. Mr. Death. Uh, so it does look like this. Uh, Looks like it's gonna be scouted here with the uh, with the overlord. Kind of surprising that he's getting the forge on the top. What do you think about that, robot? Well, if he's going for some sort of a cannon rush or something, it would make sense. But Zerg's usually not the best uh, yeah. race to cannon rush. Um, more standard is to have a uh, start your wall here. Or you can even start a wall here and make the next part of the wall. Either way is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but doing it up here, yeah, I'm not sure why. Because um, you can be pretty conservative by just starting your wall here. Uh, That's true, yeah. So maybe he's try not trying to expand. And whoa, being really defensive with an early cannon yeah, on his he own didn't base. Even, he didn't even scout the ten pool, did he? I don't think he scouted anything. Which, I mean, I think he can get away with that. Okay, yeah, he is trying to go for some kind of uh, early contain oh, or something early like contain, that with cannons. Right. Oh, look at that, just right outside the Overlord's view, too. But this just seems like it's going to be really easy f to stop. Um, if he was doing, like, the three pylon wall cheese. Um, yeah, and, you know, this is just working out so f so great for Mr. Death because he had that yeah. ten pull out, and he has these lings to come out and, and take out this uh Yeah, and if they get working on the cannon, cannon, they'll take it out, but if they keep chasing that probe... Yeah, yeah, really something you got to to think about. Ch oh, take down that cannon. Every hit yeah. is, just, is so important. Oh. oh, that's rough. So he got and it up. And he's going to take out the probe. He takes out the probe, though. Which, yeah. I mean, he can but always... still, this isn't really always a send another. I yeah. mean, he can even expand. And yeah. Or... Uh -huh. uh, proxy. We can get proxy, proxy Nexus. Kind of seems a little denied? BM. He's he probably going <laughs> to... Yeah. So I really don't know what he's thinking with putting a Nexus here. I mean, it's a little early for a Manor Nexus, although I do like the Manor Nexus play. Mm -hmm. if, but look that's that. usually look, if you think look, you're look ahead. That. That's crazy, man. Just like building a like a hidden hatchery <laughs> underneath a Nexus. Yeah, but you'd think the cannon would need to be closer up here to even get away with something yeah. like that. You know, we have a special visitor here. It is none other than the Harv Bar, Grand oh, Ma Grandmaster Harv Protoss. Do you, have anything, do you have anything to say to the to the millions of fans. What up? And spoken like a true yes, grandmaster. Yes. Very much so. So what do you think of this build so far? Do you think it's a little bit noobish or do you think it's just BM? What what are your thoughts? Well, I'm gonna say it's a little noobish because I don't know if Because you're never work. doing something yeah. like this. <laughs> therefore therefore it's noobish. We have these links coming in, though. I uh, I don't know. Are they going to be able to stop this? They just don't do that much yeah, damage. No. They just can't stand up. They can't stand up to the photons. They they die in two hits. That's the problem. Yeah, but now that this queen's out... Um, oh, he is, this is just in range. Wow. If this hatchery wasn't in range, then... Yeah, he should really be working nothing. on that cannon, though. you got to work on that cannon that's yeah, coming up. definitely. Take that cannon out. It doesn't yeah. matter if you also take out that pylon. Also, spine crawlers. Are any spine yeah, just on one spine. Yeah, a couple spine crawlers would be good. Yeah. I still think Zerg is doing pretty good. I mean, what's going on at the base? Absolutely Anything? nothing. Uh, is there? Full did, I, did I see? Wait, but did I see? Oh, run by! I love that. Uh, only two well, make it out though. That's whoa. kind of the problem. This Protoss is At least he's scouting ahead. though. Yeah. He planned ahead. That's true. 
Uh, so he does have the gateway in there, so he can warp in some zealots. Yeah, but even if, <laughs> even if this <laughs> expansion, it. but even if Hardbar's this expansion gets taken out, it's not the end of the world for the for the zerg. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just look at the minerals right now and just kind of kind of tells the tale of the, the Silver League. Uh, just using <laughs> these minerals just in general will yeah, kind of if, boost you into if, the next if league. If the Zerg could start working on a layer and start getting that tech advantage. Yeah, then I'm not sure why he had... Oh, he's and he actually only three. Only one would be enough. Even, I mean, maybe two yeah. to want to push out later. Yeah, I, I really think... Yeah, I mean, you could just uh, hit roaches, really. <laughs> roaches do really good against cannons. Yeah, true. So... But he could also go for anything that bypasses the cannons, like Nidus or uh, Mutas or something. That's true, yeah. Uh, okay, so he did get the drones back to working, which is good. A lot of So he spent a lot of resources on these cannons, which I get, at this level it is going to pay off, but I think that you have to maybe expand behind this. To get some kind of advantage, yeah. Yeah, because right he's, now, uh, he's definitely going for the cheese, though. I feel like... One of the things you have to realize when it's not working, and then do something else. But maybe he's going to expand. I think he might expand in a second here. I'm thinking you're <laughs> probably right. Once this creep spread getting goes the, away. Getting the probe ready. And he certainly has the resources for it. Where, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, he has, can't, he has pylons up there, but too. If you're going to get a uh, cybernetics core, it usually helps to have some gas to do something mm. with it afterwards. Yeah, that's true. But he is going to expand in the uh, Zerg's Natural. Yeah. So little BM but you know yeah I'm sure I'm sure you're loving this right now bro bot kind of like it like yeah bro bot standard player right now here. a spine crawler right down here yeah would probably be able to range the In Nexus. range the Nexus yeah probably get your queen out throw down a creep tumor just get that creep spread out as far as you can the way you can think of spine crawlers in this kind of a situation too is like the farther you can get them out without being hit uh, you're going to be sort of invincible to cannons within that range. Yeah, because they have the exact same range, I do believe. I think so. So that if you have a, a spine crawler down, it's pretty impossible to get a cannon down within Yeah, they'll take range. them off before they warp in. Yeah. Uh, we do have 14 banelings warping in right now. Uh, I think that's a terrible, terrible choice. He yeah. has a roach warren. I would much rather see the roach warren. Unless, oh, unless uh, he bypasses well, this he is somehow. He is researching drop right now, so... Drops in the mineral line could be that could be really good. Could be GG. Could be yeah, especially with only one cannon. One cannon, it's not even in position completely. So Jeez, we'll see. So many cannons. Yeah, that I mean, is a lot of cannons. I know uh, it's a silver league, but it just seems a little overboard. Oh, and he's not going to drop, even though he's researching it. He's just going to lose so many. Uh, that's not the way to take out cannons. That was so much minerals and gas for oh, what? Wow, two cannons. Yeah. For th that's 300 minerals for Protoss lost, and for Zerg it was probably. At least 500 minerals and probably 200 gas. But like the uh, uh, the roaches, uh, honestly, roaches could just steamroll this. If yeah. you have if you have 20 roaches, you could take out all of that with some without decent, losing much. Yeah, some semi decent micro and the spine crawlers. Walk the spine crawlers out. Have them take the hits. Exactly. Uh, actually, if you look at it, there's not that many more cannons. I mean, they're just kind of separated out. You have four on top, three on the bottom. Definitely something to take out. And uh, the Protoss really has a ton more uh, workers, too. Yeah. Something for the Zerg to learn from is, uh, yeah, you know, keep definitely. making those workers, even if you're getting contained definitely. or something like this. Well, Protoss does have two bases. <laughs> okay, is, all right. Okay. That is one of the things. And he's mining from it, too, so. A uh, little bit of a ridiculous game going on right now. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Protoss is going to be able to handle this. Although, really, all all that Zerg needs to do it, one Nidus and he wins the game. Pretty get much. a Nidus, get like five five roaches, go take out his main, and then you're pretty much good. I'd love to see that play out though. Say he takes out the main, watch <laughs> watch the Zerg play against the Protoss where they're just right next to each other. That would be hilarious. So the Banelings got sent down again, and what did that take out? Another two more. Two more cannons, yeah. Yeah, really Which not not good trades. Protoss has more than enough minerals to rebuild. Protoss is going for two, two techs at once. The duel, yeah. Well, I think Stargate. That's a good play. Get out some, uh, get out some air and just harass. Keep keep him contained, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you could also do that with uh, yeah. force fields. Or or just get a void ray in win the game right now. Yeah. 
What's going on here, oh, though? Look at that. Two queens. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. So slow. Slow. <laughs> hey, like, slow drop. Slow <laughs> drop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. What you doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna drop one at a time. All right, there goes okay. one. Usually, you want to get them clumped yeah. up to hit more than two yep. at a time. Well, you get two. There right we go. Next to each there other. we yeah. go. Big, big kill. Big kill. That was good. Third one. Ah, uh, <laughs> wow. That was like. Hey guys, am I too late? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. At poor, least he killed something. I mean, he I killed. I don't even think he did kill one. No, the last one. He just. The last one. No. Kind of shot his load. Yeah. Yeah. But no, he did. He got some kills at the end, yeah, or in the middle there. Uh, but yeah, maybe Overlord Speed would be really good. And look at all this creep spread down here. Wow, you thought the Protoss actually... had the Zerg contained? Yeah. No, 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 the Zerg's got the Protoss. Wait, contained. wait, what? <laughs> Can we you see, see these, a line of spiky we colors? See these bases oh, I would laugh. Too? I would laugh. Hidden bases. Oh man, I'm Hidden loving this. This is like everywhere. This is kind of blowing my mind right now. Like. Protoss just contained himself. <laughs> I, I feel like that could probably be like an allegory for mankind. <laughs> I think you're conquering something, but you're really just just containing yourself. Maybe it's allegory for anyone against Zerg because they can spread over the whole <laughs> map and contain you, even if you have maybe so. Maybe even if so. you have half the map, no, you're actually yeah. being contained. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I don't. It's just a metaphor, my friend. Okay, fine. So yeah, so it looks like he gets the scout in over here. He does, but maybe he's just he's gonna build his own, build his own. Uh, are you looking at Zuri there? Build his own expansion? Nope, he doesn't see it. But he doesn't have any attacking units really. Look at that. Got a couple of. There's the roaches. Couple of roaches. As soon as he gets roaches out, they start out, being effective. Yeah. Look at that. Kill these stalkers, no problem. Yep. Oh man, they're quite cost effective. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Do this is a really weird him? place. Of all the places a, a battle <laughs> would happen, I would not have expected yeah. this spot here. <laughs> I love this though. Uh, this is so great. Ooh, little observer action. Yeah. Wait, what happens? What's going on with the airplay? Where are these void rays? Are they just getting stored? Maybe it was a psych out. Oh, okay, we got so. two right oh, yeah. there. There's Looks like he's going there. for a big uh, push right I'm here. Trying to, I'm trying to break that middle. Uh, yeah. Actually, with these. Uh, with three, with the void rays alone, he could start yeah. taking these out, and with the void rays oh, plus these, we he go. could yep. probably take them out. It's going easily. down. Yeah, these no spine crawlers problem. are gonna just evaporate. And immortals are so good against against uh, that. Buildings. They are. Uh, he's got so enough good. immortals and void rays. I don't think. Yeah, this I think that's is gonna pretty hold. much it. A little too little too late pretty much. for Zerg. And uh, the resident GM, female GM, called GG already. Mm -hmm. Kind of I, think, BM, I think she but called it a long time ago. She said, Zer or she said Protoss has this. Yeah, I think Protoss does, especially yeah. right now. I so mean, what do you think of that? Is that a pretty standard uh, standard gameplay that we saw here? Desperation of spine crawlers, but weird. he's got there's Sport no answer to the immortals. Yeah. yeah. And the layers down. I agree. Some spore crawlers, but. Yeah, like you said, too little, too late. Yep. Oh, it does have the spire going down, but not going to yeah, be able to do that much. What's going to do with it? Yep. This is really a 23 minute game. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we can fast forward through the end All here. Right, let's fast forward a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Zerg's going to lose all their tech right here. There's really no way they can come back into this. Yeah. So didn't, weren't you kind of saying that there's different things that you can take out for each race that really hurts them the most? Yeah. And it, I believe it's the building, like the tech buildings for Zerg. Yep. Uh, what is it for Protoss? The probes. The probes? Yep. And then for Terran, I can't even imagine what you take out for Terran. They just well, seems... The Terran is basically like the production structure or the area around the production structure. Like if you can get your army... Where the enemies, where the uh, units are spawning, yeah. then they can't clump up, and you can kill them one by one really easily. I see what you're saying. Or if you can just straight up take out the production facilities, like take out some barracks, take out okay. some. Uh, That's usually a lot harder, though. So you're saying, dude, because it's fucking Terran, man. For yeah, for uh, Protoss, you can warp in your units somewhere else, and then for Zerg, I mean, you have your hatcheries, which you can you warp got larvas all over the map. Yeah, you can, yeah. you can build guys. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, it looks like this game's gonna end 
fairly soon. We have 114 yep. supply at 110, so what do you think? Just wrap it up? What? Uh, I mean, the Zerg would shouldn't really even stay in this. I mean, I'm on times two speed. Yeah, but I mean, it's just what are, what are your thoughts for this game? Oh, yeah, um, it was a really weird opening. Um, some earlier spine crawlers from the Zerg would have really shut down a lot of what was happening, and because the first... <laughs> oh, some BM right there. Uh, that's pretty standard. That's like a GG for Zerg. That's kind of <laughs> oh, okay. what you say. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I thought this was like, I mean, the first cannon was so far away. Uh, I, I just think that the Zerg could have expanded and just got a spine crawler as soon as possible and put a, uh, you know, had their queen move down here as soon as possible to stop any more, like, spread of the cannons. And I think you could have got an expansion up fine and... I agree. You only would have been able to made some cannons down here, and like you said, roaches take cannons out pretty well. Yeah. Um, what? Or he could have just gone for a big, like, Nidus. bypassing push yeah. with the drops or Nidus. Or I almost Nidus. think I almost think Nidus, Nidus would have Nidus been the easiest. Been good, yeah. yeah. Uh, and just for the the Protoss, like obviously you're probably liking the cheese. What I would say is is do the uh, three pylon block at the ramp. If yeah, you that's check that a out. better cheese. Uh, There's even another it's cheese. It's so good, yeah. It's There's so, even, so good. You could probably get into, like, Platinum Diamond just doing that. Probably. There's even another cheese. I don't know if you've seen this one, but you send your very first probe out immediately. <laughs> you make a pylon, and then you and make a forge, the forge. And then you start making cannons. It's cheesy, but, you know, it's fun every now and then. So yeah, I yeah. some cheese in the game. Definitely, uh, yeah, I'd say definitely try that one. Work, because, you know, you can work on your cheese, too. Exactly. But, Everyone, you know, it looks like Ninja Duckbot was just having definitely. fun this game, yeah. which, uh, I mean... If you're not having fun, then quit. Exactly. Right on. That was a fun game to cast. Thank yeah, you for posting so. that. Thanks a lot, Ninja Duck Bob. Yeah. All right. Well, signing out. This is Team Donbot. I'm Don Wancho. And the Brobot. Howdy. Later.